President Joe Biden's approach to Cuba is showing shades of Trump instead of Obama, as Biden just imposed new sanctions on the country. And this, of course, is in addition to the ongoing embargo that has only worked to hurt the Cuban people. And all of this is going on despite the fact that the rest of the world has no problem at all with Cuba. And 184 countries at the UN recently called for uh, the US to end Cuba embargo for 29th consecutive year. And that was just last month. So this really shows you how out of touch American policy on Cuba is. But let's get to uh, these new sanctions now. And it's important to note, these uh, are targeted specifically at individuals in power. So I'll get to more on that in a second, but this is from Al Jazeera. The U.S. imposed sanctions on a senior Cuban security official and an interior ministry brigade following a crackdown on anti-government protests earlier this month, the U.S. Treasury Department announced Thursday. So these uh, these sanctions aren't going to hu- aren't, aren't going to hurt Cuban civilians the way that you know a trade embargo does, but it does increase tensions with the country, which is of course a reversal of what Barack Obama did. But what is more bothersome to me than just these uh, sanctions is what Biden said while announcing them, saying that uh, these new Cuba sanctions are just the beginning. So (laughs) this really is a Trump-style approach to Cuba. The rest of the world sees the U.S. being uh, uh, forceful in a way that clearly is not warranted, that is only working to hurt Cuban civilians. Yet here Biden is going in the Trump direction as opposed to going in the Obama direction and trying to normalize relations with uh, with Cuba. And the other part of this, of course, is the obvious hypocrisy. So this from Cuban Foreign, Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez, who tweeted out, I refute the unfounded and slanderous U.S. government sanctions against Army Corporal Graal Alvaro Lopez Miera and the National Special Brigade. It should rather apply unto itself the the Magnitsky Global Act for Systemic Repression and Police Brutality that took the lives of 1,021 persons in 2020. So he's pointing out here that, so the Magnitsky Act allows U.S. to sanction whoever they view as as human rights uh, abusers. But the U.S., of course, is a massive offender of human rights across the globe, be it through U.S.-backed coups, U.S.-backed wars, drone strikes. So he's making the point here that if they're going to apply it to us, they should be applying it to themselves, and not to mention, of course, to also you know U.S. allies like Saudi Arabia or um, or Israel, which have also engaged in countless human rights abuses. So the b- hypocrisy here is glaring. But if there's any hope at normalizing relations with Cuba, Biden has to start by lifting the embargo, which has only worked to hurt Cuban civilians that are being strangled by the U.S.'s approach to Cuba.